my esteemed listeners in this tutorial we will discuss horse pool string matching algorithm uh, which is based on the input enhancement version of the space trade off strategy therefore this tutorial comes in continuation with tutorial 1 and 2 of the of the same algorithm design technique that we discussed for different problems and here we discuss we are discussing horse pool algorithm horse pool algorithm is a string matching algorithm which promises a greater efficiency when compared to its counterpart counterpart that we saw in brute force string matching algorithm and as we go by as we go by exploring this algorithm we will also compare how exactly the the brute force uh, based string matching algorithm really worked and here again the pattern is aligned with respect to the text and uh, in relation to in comparison to the string matching exercise that we did in, with brute force algorithm the the pattern matching or the character matching uh, happens from right to left and there you may recall in brute force string matching algorithm we did it from left to right okay therefore therefore orders is the pattern orders is the pattern the comparison starts from over, starts from over here right to left the first string first character that gets aligned with the text in some of the some of uh, in some iteration is c c is a character from the text and S is the last character in the pattern and depending on whether or not whether or not this character is matching with the last character of the pattern and, and whether or not this character exists in the other m minus 1 characters of the pattern there are there will be four cases there will be four cases of the algorithm we will discuss one by one the, in case one, case one, this is the thing which happens. Uh, this is not matching. The last character of the pattern is not matching with the character of the text. And also, there are no other C's in the M minus 1 characters of the pattern. I repeat, when the pattern is just aligned with respect to the text in any one of the iterations, in any of the iterations, the last character that is s over here is not matching with the character c in the text this is the text string and there is no existence of c also in the other m minus 1 characters of the pattern in this case the shift will be equal to the size of the pattern that means that means the order will be shifted and it has to be compared over here this readily compares the method the method that we discussed under brute force algorithm whether it matches the very first character whether it mismatches the very first character or the la up till the last character and if the last character is a mismatch then the then the shift will be only one character and the comparison will happen from left to right that is there are two remarkable differences between the brute force string matching and horse pole string matching in horse pole string matching the maximum jump that can be offered for the pattern of course without missing if without missing if, if at all the pattern is present in the part of the text part of the text so order will be finding its place over here in the next shift next shift orders so it will move something like this okay therefore this is the first case in the first case there is a mismatch in the very first character from right to left and and there is no existence of this character in the in the first m minus 1 characters of the pattern okay then the shift is okay this is really the case the case 1 the case 1 the case 2 the case 2 is something little different okay uh, the last character is not matching the last character is not matching when you start comparison from over here R is not matching with B, B is the character found in the text, but there is an existence of B in the law in the first M minus 1 characters. This is the first M minus 1 characters of the pattern, and there is existence of B over here, and there is an existence of B over here. Then then the matching will be done 
the matching will be done in such a way that the next matching will be done in such a way that or the shift will be in such a way that the the uh, the character in the text will be aligned with respect to rightmost character that appeared that appeared so this character is present in the m minus 1 characters of the pattern number 1 number 2 number 2 there are two b's over here there are multiple occurrences of this b in that case in that case the next shift will be such that the rightmost character will be under the character c so character c is b over here and it will be adjusted something like this therefore the shift is 2 the shift is 2 the in order to calculate the shift we will measure the length of the pattern that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and we will and we will measure the number of characters until here so it is 1 2 3 4 6 minus 4 is 2 so the shift is 2 these two characters have been shifted in the forward direction so b will be aligned with respect to b so this is the second case the second case uh, let me repeat the second case is the character in the text is not matching with the last character of the pattern over there but there are existence of existence of b's or existence of characters that is found in the text elsewhere that is in the among the m minus 1 characters if there are if, if, the, if the number of characters existing is more than one more than one then the next the shift will be in such a way that the the alignment happens with respect to the rightmost character rightmost character is this b therefore it will be adjusted something like this okay ah, the third case is third case is the the last character in the pattern is matching matching when you start comparing like this anyway, anyway this is the way but but there are no existence of this character c that is r over here in the first m minus 1 characters of the pattern in that in such a case in such a case the shift will be equal to the size of the pattern that is it will become similar to the case one so master uh, the pattern will be positions over here m a s t e r so entire shift entire m characters will get shifted so this is a bigger jump that can be expected this doesn't uh, this did not happen anywhere in the brute forcing algorithm brute forcing matching algorithm there even if in the worst case that means uh, every character in the pattern matches but the last character is not matching in such a case also the shift happened to be one shift happened to be one but here the longer shifts have been promised okay therefore they, this particular method uses an intelligent way okay in matching the characters and matching the pattern the case four is the case four is the last character is matching and there is existence of the character within the m minus 1 characters of the string so there is existence of r over here there is existence of r over here therefore the shift will be in such a way that such a way that the character in the text will be matching again as the rightmost character in the pattern so rightmost character is this therefore 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 is m that is pattern length and until here it is 1 2 3 4 so 7 minus 4 is 3 therefore 3 characters will be shifted uh, shifted away okay and so that the r will come and align with respect to this r so d r will be shifted 1 2 3 characters will be shifted okay so this is very similar to the second case and this is very similar to the first case anyway anyway so this is the thing okay now these examples clearly demonstrated that the right to left character comparison can lead to farther shifts a long shifts okay the pattern can make a long jump to the maximum extent of its own length of the pattern and shifts only by one position always made by this compares with only one position one position shift uh, one character shift made by brute force algorithm however if such an algorithm had to check all the characters of the pattern on every trial it would lose much of its superiority or simplicity fortunately the idea of space trade-off and uh, in general and input enhancement in particular makes this repetitive comparisons unnecessary so we can uh, it is possible to pre-compute the shift sizes and store them in a table and this table happens to be shift table okay and shift this shift table is of a peculiar type 
and it is indexed by all possible characters in the alphabet or natural language from where from where this text appears and and uh, uh, that may that will naturally include all the alphabets and punctuation marks etc etc and we will calculate the amount of shift that is to be necessarily uh, computed uh, as far as the the characters that are found in the pattern therefore the table is more or less characterized by the characteristic patterns of the pattern okay um, the shifts are done only for the characters that appear in the pattern so shift size c is the length of the pattern m if c is not among the first m minus 1 characters c is the character found in the text which is aligned against the last character of the pattern and the otherwise the distance between the rightmost c among the first m minus 1 characters of the pattern to its last character otherwise if it is matching or if there is an existence of character c among the first m minus 1 characters then the alignment will be made in such a way that the last character the the character um, in the text will will match against the rightmost character c okay uh, that is available in the pattern so we will take some examples over here and uh, this is the example one among several x this is the text among several explanations choose the simple one this is this is a statement from principle of parsimony or occam's razor and the pattern is nation nation so first of all we, we need to build we need to build shift table shift table will come something like this shift table will yeah so the characters that we need to worry about is n a t i o n okay we'll just carry on over here n a t i o n n i t o n and let us say n is the first character that we need to worry about okay the rightmost character available is only over here so this is the distance so as far as n is concerned this is the shift thus this shift is equal to 3 plus 3 is 6 6 minus 6 minus 1 5 the shift size is 5 so as far as a is concerned this is the shift size this is the shift size so a is concerned it is it is equal to 4 this shift size is 4 as far as t is concerned it is this as far as i is concerned this is the amount of shift and as far as o is concerned it is only 1 so for o one it is 1 uh, for for t it is it is 3 and for a it is 4 and for n it is 5 therefore we will make a table something like this a b is not there therefore let us not worry about this as far as b is concerned the shift size will be equal to m and the next character is next character is um, in the alphabetical order it is i then it is o then it is t so we need to worry about only four characters of the pattern because they will have different shift sizes as far as a is concerned it is 4 as far as i is concerned as far as i is concerned it is it is uh, 2 as far as o is concerned it is 1 as far as t is concerned uh, it is it is uh, 3 t is, t is concerned it is something like this so we will have this table now we will just adjust this align this pattern over here so here comes nation n a t i o n so it is aligned something like this t i o n therefore therefore here is the space space is aligned with respect to n there is no occurrence of space anywhere within the m minus 1 characters and this is also mismatching therefore n will be sh the the shift will be equal to 6 so n will come and sit over here n a so number of comparisons happened is 1 just 1 okay n a t i o n here here the it is a mismatch but there is an occurrence of a somewhere over here therefore the shift should be such that a will come and sit over here and shift is equal to 4 this is available this is available from our um, 
from the table a t i o n okay n a comes over here and once again so x is aligned with respect to x so, so here there will be two comparisons uh, there will be one comparison here also and here again there is only one comparison that is comparison with x and n okay there is no occurrence of x in any other part in, in the remaining portion of the pattern therefore the shift is again uh, equal to 6 n a t i o n so a appears over here the character in the text is a and it is found over here therefore the shift is equal to 1 2 3 4 so a will come and sit over here okay a t i o n n so a string is matched so now the comparison happens is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 comparison so in total in total uh, horse pulse algorithm has given us uh, has taken 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 1 9 totally 9 comparisons so it consumed 9 comparisons had it been brute force string algorithm so we will just count over here n mismatch 1 2 3 4 5 because n is matching then the next character will also be verified 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 uh, 13 14 15 16 17 uh, 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 okay so in brute force string matching 26 comparisons would have happened with the horse pulse algorithm it took only nine comparisons but the algorithm never missed never missed the tracing of nation which is also available in the in the pattern so we'll take it another example uh, this example is about uh, is about uh, there is a um, there is a pattern there is a text there is a text uh, consuming around 1000 zeros there are 1000 zeros the text is of 1000 zeros and these are all the patterns therefore for every before we arrive at the number of comparisons or matching this these strings we need to compute the shift table so as far as the first first problem is concerned a 0 0 0 0 1 so number of characters are number of uh, characters are 5 5 and as far as shift table is concerned this is tc and this is c c is 1 so 1 is not at all present anyway okay for this it is 5 if c is 1 the shift is 5 for 0 this is the rightmost 0 so as far as 0 is concerned the shift size is 1 the shift size is 1 because that is the rightmost 0 therefore therefore the number of comparisons in every match in every in every string alignment there is going to be only one comparison and the shift size is also one therefore this presents the worst case complexity worst case complexity the number of comparison is one and the total number of uh, movements is m minus sorry n minus m that is 1000 1000 minus 5 therefore 995 plus one comparison even in the last arrangement so it is m minus n plus 1 even in the last alignment last alignment also one comparisons will happen therefore it is 996 into 1 therefore 996 comparisons okay as far as this is concerned 1 0 0 0 0 so as far as uh, c 0 is concerned the shift size is shift size is 1 this is the difference so this is 1 okay as far as 1 is concerned the shift size is 1 2 3 4 5 okay uh, that is yeah the shift size is 5 from here till here therefore this will also be equal to 996 okay but in every 
in every alignment the number of comparisons are 1 2 3 4 5 this matches this matches because it is uh, it is of thousands zeros therefore this matches 1 2 3 4 and this is a mess match anyway comparison will happen therefore 5 comparisons will be done and therefore it is 5 into 1000 1000 that is n minus m is 5 m is 5 plus 1 so it is 990, 996 into 5, 996 into 5, those many comparisons, because examples are like this. So as far as this is concerned, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, as far as this is concerned, as far as 0 is concerned, okay, the shift size is this much, that is, that is, 5 minus 3 that is 2 the shift size is 2 as far as 1 is concerned the shift size is 1 the shift size is 1 therefore therefore since there is no there is no possibility of occurrence of 1 anywhere in the in the text because the entire text happens to be full of zeros thousand zeros therefore the therefore the shift in every match happens to be 2 after two comparisons okay it makes a jump of two. Therefore, uh, uh, the string can move up to up to m minus sorry n minus m length. N minus m length. So n minus m is nothing but n minus m plus one comparison. Of course, it is nine ninety six. Nine ninety six. And in every alignment, it jumps by two. Therefore. It doesn't make a movement one character at a time because the jump is 2. It is 5 minus 3, that is 2. Therefore, therefore 996 by 2, it is uh, 8, 9, 6. 496 jumps will happen. Therefore, 496 comparisons will happen. Therefore, therefore it is 496, 496 at and every alignment will ensure one, two, two comparisons. So it will be just, it will be just 992 comparisons. 992 comparisons. Okay. This is what happens as far as this example is concerned. So text is 1000 zeros. And these are all the patterns. Now, we'll take another one. Uh, uh, best new about Bebas. Best new about Bebas is the text, and Bebab is the pattern. Pattern. Now, we will construct the shift table. The character that we need to worry about is A, whatever that is there in the pattern. A is there, B is there. Okay. A, B and wo somewhere over here somewhere over here for rest of the characters here so for a it is one because the last mode character is this one and this is the gap this is the gap okay this is the gap exactly so it is it is six minus five that is one as far as b is concerned this is the rightmost b therefore as far as this is concerned it is six minus four two B will be 2. All the other characters until O is 6. Is 6. As far as O is concerned, O is over here. This is the rightmost occurrence of O. So it is 6 minus 3. O is 3. And all other characters, whatever that is uh, that is available in the natural language from which the text has been constructed is 6. So from here till here, for whatever the characters, including punctuation marks, it is 6. So now we will adjust this, okay, B A, B A, B O B, B A O, B A B. So number of comparisons here, there is a mismatch and there is no occurrence of K anywhere over here. So number of comparison for this alignment happens to be 1. So B A B O B will be shifted over here, B A O, B A B. B A B. So now this matches. 
this matches one two three comparison so uh, after three comparisons it is a failure but the last character over here is b in the and the text character is also b therefore it will be adjusted uh, and the shift will be two so here b a b shift is two okay b a o now what is the text text character over here is u u u is not found anywhere over here and for u the shift size is shift size is equal to pattern length it is b a it's a big jump b a o b a b now the text character is b b is found in the pattern and the shift size is 2 therefore b will align here a b this should be b b o b a b s okay it is wrongly written anyway b a o b and b a o so number of comparisons has been here it is 1 here it is 1 in the second in the second alignment it is 2 okay comparison with respect to b and comparison with respect to a in the third alignment it is only one it's only one and here it is here it is two in this alignment and here it is one two three four five six all the six comparisons so what we get is the total number of comparisons has been six plus two eight eight plus one nine nine plus two eleven eleven plus the eleven plus mm, eleven plus three 11 plus 3 is 14, 14 plus 1 is 15, okay, uh, 11 plus 1 only, okay, it is the total number of comparisons is 2, it is not comparison anyway, so had it been uh, brute force string matching, here 2, B, A, O, so first comparison is a success and second comparison is a failure, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 comparisons had it been brute force string matching algorithm. Okay. We'll take it. Oh, yeah. This is the thing. And here is another example. Okay. Consider the problem of searching for genes in DNA sequences using Haspol's algorithm. A DNA sequence consists of a text on the alphabet A, A for adenine, C for uh, C for uh, okay, G for guanine, T for uh, this is for cytosine and T for thiamine, and the gene or gene segment is the pattern, and this is the pattern. Okay, it's a gene segment, and this is the total DNA string, DNA string. Now, now we need to find whether T C C T A T T C T T occurs. Okay, and therefore we will first of all construct. First of all, construct what is called as the shift table and in the shift table we need to worry about A because A is present in the pattern and C, C is also present in the pattern, G is present in the pattern and T and the rest of any other characters from the natural language, okay, English happens to be, happens to be the length of this, the length is uh, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, okay, as far as A is concerned here is A here is a it is 10 minus 1 2 3 4 5 therefore a will enjoy a shift of 5 and as far as c is concerned c is here okay the rightmost c is over here there are other two c's also but this is the rightmost c therefore this is the this is this this is the shift size so it is 10 minus 10 minus 8 therefore c will enjoy a shift of 2 and as far as g is concerned g is not at all present in this therefore it is a straight away 10 the shift is 10 and as far as t is concerned this is the rightmost t there are several t's over there this is the rightmost t therefore the shift is 1 this is the thing okay if we carefully do this okay in the first alignment t will get matched with here is t t will get matched with this t therefore it will it will it will entail two comparisons in the shift one in the shift two c will c will sit again as t therefore uh, the comparisons will be uh, comparisons will be one and shift size is two this has been carefully written 
okay the my my respected viewers will verify this okay by literally doing and aligning and shifting okay 10 comparisons to stop the successful search okay uh, by the time uh, the number of comparisons will be 2 plus 1 3 3 5 5 plus 1 okay 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 8 okay you, you have to add all these things and you will get the total number of comparisons but anyway anyway it's a successful search because this particular pattern is found in the text so now we will uh, take to write the algorithm the first algorithm is uh, developing the shift table here it is here it is uh, what it does this algorithm generate the shift table uh, it fills the shift table literally used by horse pools and the other algorithm also there is a there is a next algorithm that we are going to discuss in our next uh, uh, next uh, tutorial that is buyer moore's algorithm for both the algorithms shift table uh, finds a common entity okay uh, the input is pattern the input is pattern of m characters and an alphabet of possible characters output is a table table of size 0 to size minus 1 and of course it is indexed by alphabets characters that is alphabets of a natural language from where the text has been constructed and filled with shift sizes computed by the formula that we presented earlier okay uh, the first step is initialize all the elements of the table with m all the table all the entries in the table in all the columns we find the size to be m it, it will change only only with respect to the alphabets or only with respect to the characters found in the pattern now now we will take an example to trace this it is let us say b a r b e r barber is the pattern let us say okay uh, we need to generate we need to generate for all the characters still here Okay, therefore for m minus 1 m minus 1 characters okay the shift is depending on the presence or absence of this character in the m minus 1 characters of the pattern so therefore uh, the for loop has to run from 0 to m minus 1 0 and less than m minus 1 therefore it is 0 to m minus 2 because we we write 2 as you know okay for i equal to 0 to m minus 1 do table table pfi table pfi pfi is b so table b indexed by b so b will get m minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 minus 0 5 b will get 5 and in the second cycle uh, p of 1 is a p of 1 is a it is m minus 1 minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 minus 1 6 minus 2 so a will get 4 similarly r r will get okay that is in the second third third cycle j will be equal to 2 it is 6 minus 1 that is 5 minus 2 3 r will get 3 e will get 1 similarly and any other character will get 6 6 and once again once again when b surfaces over here in the 0 1 2 3 third iteration when i becomes equal to 3 what b gets let us say table table uh, with the index equal to 3 where b is present okay index equal to 3 that is b is present table of b will be equal to will be b equal to m, m minus 1 is 5 5 minus 3 is 5 minus 3 is 2 so this will be overwritten by 2. So that's how shift table is generated by a simple algorithm like this called shift table and this will be used by Haspool's algorithm. Okay, now we will, uh, we will choose to write Haspool's algorithm. Okay, it implements Haspool's algorithm for string matching. Input is the pattern 0 to m minus 1 and the text 0 to n minus 1 n, n, n will include please remember this n will include all the alphabets present in the natural language from which text is constructed and all the you know, punctuation marks special characters etc etc okay it's it's quite bigger the text length is quite bigger as you know so input is pattern p 0 to m minus 1 text and text output is the index of the left end 
okay the output here you, you need to remember this the output here is the index of the left end left end it is not the right end mind you okay left end of the pattern of the first matching substring the index of the left end of the first matching substring okay if at all it is present minus one otherwise so if at all the text is present the pattern is present it will the algorithm will return the an integer value which indicates from where from where from which point of the text the pattern is available okay so the algorithm starts uh, by generating the shift table i will just write shift table or generate shift table or make use of the shift table already uh, okay uh, as an a priori work okay for this algorithm okay this is called this is where input enhancement comes into picture we have used the input input is the pattern and we wrote uh, we used the certain properties of this input okay the appearance of characters okay and the corresponding characters in the m minus 1 characters in the string in the pattern okay shift table for all the m characters of the pattern so generate the table of shifts then we will start from i equal to m minus 1 because the index i will be at m minus 1 location okay because this position this position refers to the patterns right end the patterns right end therefore it will be at, so i will never be at zero even in the first iteration it will be it will be at the right end of the pattern because the comparison happens to be from from right to left right to left okay while as far as boundaries of i is concerned it can go up to n minus 1 as you know because that is the length of the text while i is less than or equal to n minus 1 do because i can move to a maximum extent of n minus 1 characters then we will set k equal to 0 it's a counter it's a count which will indicate how many char characters got a match okay the number of matched characters k here remains to be the number of matched characters of the pattern number of matched characters initially it will be zero as you know it's an accumulator if k equal to m if k equal to m the pattern is found the pattern is found now we will start moving okay while k k less than or equal to m minus 1 this will ensure movement of the k k will start from right and it will move up to the end covering all the m minus 1 characters and if this will also come true that is every character every character in the location m minus 1 minus k so the first character is k equal to 0 therefore the first character is m minus 1 character m minus 1 minus 0 okay if this is equal to t of i minus k t of minus i minus k i remains to be same which is equal to m minus 1 so m minus 1 minus k if this is matching if both the things are happening that is k has not reached not reach at the end from right to left and also every character is matching then k is incremented k plus 1 k is incremented therefore this while loop will fail we are unable to match this or unable to match this okay if it, it doesn't match this k will never be equal to m if it matches both k will be equal to m after the completion of this while loop therefore you come out of the while loop the control after after the control coming out of the while loop we, we have to question whether k equal to m if k becomes equal to m then definitely the pattern is found the location is return return 
okay i would have gone okay i the index would have gone okay return i minus m plus 1 I would have come, uh, I would have gone at the end of, because I will be at the end of this string in every iteration, okay, it has traversed also, therefore it has to return i minus m plus 1, okay, else, 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 it would have taken a jump, that's all, else I would have gone for a shift which is given by the earlier i value then table t the shift value that is indicated indicated by the table shift table t of i which can be of any length which can be of any length return i so had it been true it would have returned the from where exactly pattern is found otherwise it would have, it will be returning minus 1 okay so we saw, we saw how differently the Hartzpool's algorithm matched the pattern along with the text, with respect to the text, and we also compared as to how the brute force string matching really worked. And we will come to know, it has become increasingly clear to us that Hartzpool's algorithm ensures a longer jump, a longer jump for the pattern, even if mismatching happens. The longest jump being equal to the size of the size of the pattern itself and it also ensures if at all the pattern is present in the text it will be definitely detected and the location from where the location on the text from where pattern is available will also be will also be known by the user by the developer or whatever so we covered Hartzpool's algorithm in this tutorial and the next thing to come up is Bayer-Moore's algorithm. Until then, 